Hey guys, doing? doing? Good, good. Doing well, how about yourself? Good, doing well. Christian, for a lot of these guys, and you had to, to learn it too in your first camp, but the importance of pass protection, especially for the, the younger guys coming in, um, is that where you really kind of shine through in terms of roster? Um, you know, it's definitely one of the main emphasis, especially at the running back position. You got so many guys nowadays in the league who can, are so good at rushing the passer. So, I mean, that's the first thing a lot of a lot of coaches look at, and I know it's a it's a main point of emphasis. You know, with Coach Pete's, with Nor, with with uh, Coach Rivera. So, it's something that we strive to get better at every day. How do you even you know enter your third camp? How do you continue to work on it? And what do you see the young guys doing? Uh, I mean, we do drills every day. Coach Pete has a has an array of drills that, that are really good. Uh, always working on our punch, working on sitting our hips. And I think the best thing is just doing one on one pass pro drills with the linebackers because uh, that's one of the tougher drills you can do. And, and having you know really good players on on our defense helps too. So just competing and going against those guys uh, definitely helps. It seems like there's some new pass protection drills that he's running. Have you done stuff like that with the mama and the? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've we've done it. Uh, you know, he obviously has, has a bunch of really good drills that are a lot of fun for us, and and, and they're great because you end up simulating those to, to the end game stuff. I feel like we've way? asked you this every year here, but uh, what kind of weight gain over the off season? And muscle gain. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I gained like one or two pounds. Yeah, weighed in at about two hundred seven last year. I definitely you know put on some muscle, but uh, I think I gained a pound. Was that kind of the goal? Maybe it just sort of transform some of that weight. Well, the goal is I think it. Every off season, just to get you know as fast as you can, uh, stay healthy, and uh, you know I'm at the point now where I'm, I'm I'm at a weight that I like. So from here on, it's just staying healthy and continuing to be explosive and fast. What did you do to, to add muscle? I mean, what, what was that? Can you give walk us through a little bit of your regimen, please? I mean, I, I, <laughs> why is that always the topic? Of <laughs> <laughs> well, you look bigger. Right? Thank, you, thank you, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I I, I just trained pretty hard in the off season and you know it was, it was good to get a full off season this year and um, you know just working really hard I mean I'm still growing you know 23 years old came into the league I was you know pretty young and underdeveloped so uh, you know always trying to get stronger faster and you know do all the things you got to do to prepare your body to you know take a take a bunch of reps during the games. What kind of a toll did last year's workload take on you by the end of the year and do you are you one of those guys that says give me it as much as possible or would you wouldn't mind seeing maybe a, a few less touches to be fresher at the end? I, I prepare so that I can I can be in the whole game. You know, I felt great all last year, felt great all off season, and I feel really good right now. How has the preparation been for you this year in terms of working with Cam compared to everything that he was going through last year? It's been great. You know, it's I wouldn't say it's different. You know, it's just a lot a lot of the same stuff. Uh, you know, experience. There's nothing like it. And and being able to continue to watch film with him, being able to continue to pick his brain on stuff, and uh, you know, watch certain defenses has been awesome. That's something that, that that I love to do, and you know, I know he does too. So it's been a lot of fun. Do you get a sense that he is approaching the way that he he fits into this offense a little differently, the way that he's learning to trust you guys? I mean, obviously, you guys already have the rapport, but yeah. continuing to learn and to, to trust the playmakers and not have to carry the load all by himself. Yeah, I mean, he's he's always been that way, and uh, you know, I don't think he's changed at all. And, and we, we're not going to ask him to change. You know, he's a heck of a competitor. He works his butt off, and uh, he approaches everything very seriously as well. So. Um, we just let him continue to be him. Christian, when, that, when you're lining up, when you're lining up kind of uh, out wide or in the slot, how do your matchups look? Do they look different because obviously this defensive change and a little bit of speed on both sides of the ball? I mean, yeah. I mean, it depends on the defense. Uh, you know, our defense does a good job of disguising a lot of stuff for us. It's uh, you know, right now we're going against the Panthers, so um, a lot of our plays, you know, we're going to work on. Uh, might not be against the right looks, but it, it's good to get multiple looks at different plays at different positions because, you know, that's how it's going to be in the game. He mentioned was saying he was concerned about your touches, but he said he had players that had more. But you think well, it's more about the touches? He'd like, yeah, you well, more? you got to talk to Norv because Norv said he misspoke on that. He, he, he yeah, talk, I would talk what to I'm him. What I'm saying, could you have more that. touches but fewer reps or be on the field fewer times? Is that kind of the, the goal to get yeah. more rest out there? The goal for me is be ready to play, be ready to get the ball as many times as possible, and uh, that's how I feel right now. You know, I, I'm, I'm not the coach, so I would talk to him. Did you give Norv sort of good-naturedly a hard time when you saw his comments, or how did that come up? Not at all, man. I mean, he, he told me he was going to give me the ball more. I'm not, you know, I, <laughs> that's music to my ears, you know, so uh, I got excited. I know it's only been a few training camp practices, but what's your relationship like with Matt Paradis, and, and how does he sort of fit in along the offensive line? What, what's the differences there between him and Ryan so far? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, you know, he's obviously been there, done that. He's a heck of a leader, very smart, great on the calls. When you lose a guy like Ryan, you know, it's always tough. You can 
you know, he was one of the best guys, best football players I've ever been around in my life. So Matt's done an unbelievable job carrying the load and, and coming in right away, uh, getting all the calls right. Uh, obviously, he's a heck of a player, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, getting to know him, getting to develop with him, and we're really excited to see him. There's a lot of talk recently about the shoulder, Cam coming back from that shoulder injury. Um, you've been out there with him. What are you seeing as far as the velocity on the ball and his accuracy? How do you feel like he's coming back? He looks great. He looks great. You know, for me, it's just when, when he throws it my way, it's be ready and catch the ball. A lot of talk about that jump from year one to year two of the North Turner offense. Do you feel like you can even get better and dive deeper into the playbook and once you have that extra understanding of it? <clears throat> Definitely, you can always get better. And you know, I think that's the way we're approaching it, uh, taking it one meeting at a time, one practice at a time, and, and do what we can to continue to learn. And then so we, when we come out on the field, we can execute you know, at a high level. Christian, how do you balance? How, how do you balance what you were saying about wanting the ball, wanting the ball? But also kind of keeping an eye on, you know, wanting to have a long, you know, prosperous career in this thing. I think you just got to do a great job taking care of your body and uh, being smart with it. And you know, our coaches do such a good job of being smart with all of us. So uh, it's trusting my coaches and, you know, doing everything possible in, in the off season. And, you know, when we get done in times like this to just take care of my body. One of the other things that North said, not necessarily about your touches or the workload of any of them, but he said that it seems like the receptions take less out of you than the carries. Is that how you see the, the split down between get, the ways you get the ball? I don't really think about it. You know, I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I want the ball however I can get it, and, uh, you know, that's the way I've always been. But, uh, you know, we got so many dynamic football players on this team that at the end of the day, my job is to play football and not be concerned about touches. Or I just want to win. And, you know, for me, whether I get six touches or 40 touches, if we win, I'm happy. What I know it's out of Curtis Sandrill this year. Curtis has been great. He's had a heck of a camp. Uh, watching him improve is, is amazing. Obviously, he's he's got foot speed that's rare, and not just in the league, I'd say in the world. So uh, being able to watch him really use his skills well and, and, and learn and develop has been a lot of fun. So I'm excited for him this year. What have you seen from this front seven? There's so many names. They're just rotating in and out. The scheme kind of aside, do you notice the fact that they can have fresh bodies? And what does that do you know, for opposing offenses? Yeah, I mean, that, the front seven stacked. Uh, it, it definitely uh, is, is a, a lot of force to be reckoned with in practice. You know, when you've got so many different names in the front seven that, that you're going against every day. Um, I'm just excited that we don't have to go against them on Sundays because they, they really are a special group. We play well together, a lot of high energy, obviously great football players, so it'll be fun to watch this year. Gerald has really led that group even though he's, I mean, he's brand new. Have you seen that from the standpoint? Because all he talks about is he doesn't care if he gets double team or someone else gets double team, who does what? They're, and they, like you mentioned, they're working as a unit. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I mean, I think you go down that list. You got so many leaders. You know, obviously Gerald's been there, done that. Uh, you look at a guy like Kwan Short too, who's been in the league and had, you know, just as much success as anybody. Uh, you know, Dontari Poe's been there. Mario Addison has had 10 sack seasons. Um, you know, you just go down the list. You obviously got a, got a great rookie uh, in Brian. So. Um, I think when, when you look at the list and then you get Bruce Irvin too, who's, you know, won Super Bowls, who's, you know, obviously a, a heck of a player. Uh, there's so much veteran leadership at, at every single position. And when you have that, uh, it's it's fun because you know that guys know, you know, how to be. And, and for a defense, you need that. Christian, besides the personnel, how about that defensive scheme and how is it, is it noticeably different for you guys, you know, having to block it and attack it? I mean, we've you know gone against a lot of three, four teams in the past. You know, for me, I'm more focused on the offensive scheme and um, you know how can we combat that. But at the end of the day, gaps change a little bit. Uh, mesh points, you know, stay the same. The run plays are all the same. Uh, but it, you prepare for them just like you prepare for a bunch of three, four teams in the league. You know, we play a whole bunch of them, so it's not the first time we've you know seen three, four. You talk a lot about guys, preparing your body, in. keeping uh, your body you know ready to go. Julio Jones saying he's not playing in preseason. See the Rams not playing preseason. Do you see that maybe more of a trend as you move along? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I have no idea. I just leave that up to the coaches and uh, just do what they tell me. You're still young, but after last year, do you consider yourself an elite back already at this point in your career? This year? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christian, you have two rookie running Josh. backs in your group that are kind of looking to you for a little bit of that veteran advice. What do you try to pass along to them as they try to kind of emulate your career? Well, I mean, they're great players, and, you know, they're, they're great learners, too. They ask a lot of questions. Uh, they're attentive during meetings, and, uh, you know, they, they do such a good job during practice, too. So for me, it's just, you know, whenever they have questions, I'll answer them or show them a little thing here and there. But the running back position is such an instinctive position, you know, and those guys have great instincts. They've had a lot of success. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't overcoach the position. So 
a lot of it you just let them go out there and play and then if you see something specific you know you'll let them know but those guys do such a good job and, and they're going to be really good football players thanks guys we got to get them in appreciate it guys